Hi there, this is Steve, and recently we had a, uh, a fellow forum user, Michael, ask a question on how to arrange a layout so it appears a certain way uh, when it's down to mobile size. We have uh, four different blocks of information here, and his desired look um, is to be something like this. When it's fully maximized, to look like this when it's fully minimized to look like this and he does not desire it to look like this or like this so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, very very easy using responsive layout maker to adjust as you see now as we're shrinking down to the different sizes all they do is just kinda bleed into each other that's not really the desired effect so what we got to start doing is adding breakpoints For example, we'll squeeze it down to about here, and then what we want to do is take take note here. We'll go, we we want to keep this left column here, and then we just want to drop this one down here, and make this one full and this one full, just for this size. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a breakpoint just by pushing a little plus arrow up here. Then we're going to go to layout pick the subgrid column and if we take note of what this one is here um, we see that it spans 9 so that's exactly what we want to do here to this one down here we're going to span it 9 as well and then we're going to go back to here and span this 9 Okay, so you'll notice now if we go up here to the slider and drag it to the biggest size, it, it looks like he wants it. And then we're going to go, and once it hits this breakpoint, well, it's going to, I'm going to do it in two steps, two different breakpoints. So the first breakpoint is, is going to be like this. So we still maintain this left column. Now we pop these below each other. And the final desired look he wants here is when we're at the smallest size it to be blocked on top of each other just like that. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring it down a little bit more and it's getting really squishy so right about now is when we're going to start flipping it. So I'll go a little bit more just for the sake of argument. I'm going to add one more breakpoint. Then what we're going to do, we're going to pop this one here. We're going to take our, our left hand subgrid and then we're going to span this one. 12. And then we're going to grab this one here, span it 12. This one here, span it 12. And this one here, span it 12. And as you can see, as we come back, out of this, go from there to there to there. And back out. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I hope I've answered Michael's question. Um, until next time, we'll talk to you later. See you later.